Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to talk about five set skills that you need to master to become a great fitness presenter. Okay? But first of all, you need to know and you need to master your choreography. Okay? Um, the choreography, you need to master your repertoire, you need to know your all, all the families, all the counts, so master the marches, uh, tap, uh, master the touches, you need to know how much counts do you have in one movement, how can you how can you assemble this to be more uh, to, to, to have more flow in your choreography, okay? Then you need to you need to master to able what I call the cup. Okay, the cup needs meets creativity. You need, must be original, and you have a, and the choreography must reflect your personality. Okay, so if I'm a, an athletic guy, I'm going to do much of jumps. I'm going to I'm going to bend over. I'm going to lean forward. I'm going to do squats in my in my choreography. Okay, it's, it's because it's going to reflect my personality. Personally, I like hip hop. So you, when you see me doing my choreography, you will see the movements from the hip hop. Okay, so go to the meetings, fitness meetings. Listen, watch what they are doing. Uh, try to be as trend as you can. Okay, you need to you need to find the more modern way to do steps. Don't just de uh, don't ju don't just say yourself. Okay, I know, so it's really easy. I'm going to do this, 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 this. No, it's to be able. To be the best presenter in the world, you need to you need to follow, you need to watch what the others do, and sometimes you need to copy them. Sometimes you need to be just creative, take some parts, create, assemble, uh, play with it, and you will have really great choreography. Okay. So the next part is what I call the didactics. Okay. The didactics, it's it's really. Uh, uh, how do you how are you going to adapt to your public okay to your students how do you, how are you going to teach them and what kind of way are you going to teach them to to learn your choreography okay so m stands for methodology okay i need to know what methods i'm going to use in when i'm going to do my beginners class or when i'm going to do my intermediate level class or when i'm going to do my advanced classes okay then I must adapt. I need to adapt, okay? If I'm doing a linear progression, a linear method in my step class, I'm going to adapt it to maybe to my beginner's public, okay? And if I'm going to do a step-by-step -step or substitution or insertion, I'm going to do it more on a more high, uh, more advanced classes, okay? Then it needs to be efficient. You need to be efficient, okay? When you are learning, when you're teaching someone something, you need to be efficient. You need to have the, this capa capacity or this ability to to anchor what uh, the the things that you want them to to learn, okay? If you are uh, if you are going just to, to do, okay, I know this. You you are going just to show them what are you going to do, and then if they are not able to anchor, uh, they are not able to learn. The problem is not them, maybe the problem is you, okay? So, the third point is you need to practice your technique, okay? You need to practice your form, it must be, it must be beautiful, it must be interesting to see, okay? Why? Because most of, the, most of people are visual people, okay? So if I, if I see a video of you, if, if I... If I see uh, the things that, if I if I'm watching your choreography, if I'm watching your technique, it, 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 if there is no surprise or just there is no wall effect, I'm not going to I'm not going to watch it anymore. Okay, I need to practice my form. Are are my hands aligned? Do I have a great form when I'm doing this? Okay. The, uh, where are my hands positioned when I do my baby mambo or my mambo, okay? This must be your priority. Then we have what we call the communication, okay? In communication, we have verbal communication and non-verbal communication. In verbal communication, I need to express myself so that my uh, students can learn easily, okay? I need to give some precisions, I need to, I need to go, uh, give my images so they that we have more precision, so that we um, that we 
they will sorry be able to learn much more easier for, for so for instance i need to then put, uh, say them to push push hard on your legs to jump off um, don't forget to put your heel on the ground okay these are some precisions and some images that you can you can tell them so they can easily learn your choreography okay non-verbal okay when you are doing non-verbal techniques like cueing okay you need to so sometimes you don't you you can't use your uh, verbal skills because the music is too loud because uh, Sometimes your students are really concentrated on other things, so you need to show you show them with your movements, with your gestures, with your cues, how to go right or left or or, or lean forward or or push back or going back with with the torso. Okay, so you need to do you need to demonstrate it with your with with your body. Okay. So when I do a turn, I do this. Okay, so they are knowing. They are knowing that I'm going to do a turn. Okay. The last set skill that you need to master is what we call animation. Animation. So you, like I said before in my videos, you need to know your music. You need to know your musicality. You need to know the the uh, at which point you are going to. <clears throat> do your animation so if it's a slow music you're going to dance a little bit you're going to you're going to use the musicality to to break uh, some, some uh, what we call a break in in our choreographies so they they will relieve themselves from teaching and they're going to have some fun okay you need to to create a fun party for them to experience okay so if they experience a really good party, if, if they are in the music, if they are enjoying themselves, it will, it will be really easy for them to learn your choreography. Okay? So, to master all this, you need to practice, you need to drill, and you need to rehearse. Okay? And you're going to do it constantly. Okay? You need to repeat, 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 repeat. Sometimes, and I, I'll see you, I'll see you with... with, um, with with my friends or with the other colleagues, they master three things. Okay, they master choreography, they master the tactics, they master the technique, but they don't have no communication and they don't have no animation. Okay, they are great here. Okay, really creative guys, uh, really great teachers, great some sometimes great techniques, sometimes not. So, but then they forgot how to cue, how to to how to use not verbal uh, no non-verbal techniques and then you see a, a, a class that is not really interesting okay and the animations the hand flatline okay no animations nothing just learn my choreo it's okay no for me I don't think that it's a great idea for me I think that you need to master all the all the five set skills to be a great presenter see to be different to differentiate from the others when i started uh, four years ago i was in this i was in this case okay i would have a great original choreography i will master my didactics my technique will be cool uh, sometimes interesting sometimes not but when you're a beginner you, you really don't know how to align your hands but with with experience it, it will happen but i always forgot to communicate and to animate my, my classes okay so so i did have uh, choreographies that were level three or advanced level i will do jumps i will do i, I will perform really exception uh, exceptional abilities but i forgot that my my students didn't like it okay uh, sometimes i will do a, um, a choreography which was not adapted for my class level okay sometimes i will do a choreography which will be a level two I'll, uh, uh, whereas my, my class was a beginner's class okay that's so this is something they need to do you need to you need to talk to yourself and say oh slow down okay don't go that, that way so because you're going to lose people you're going to lose clients call it off be more cool, be more precise, 
use this, okay? And when your students are going to teach, uh, are going, going to learn, they are going to have some coordination skills, uh, some more mo motor skills, in in and will, where will they will be more performant? It will be okay to rise up a level. Okay, you can go to high levels if they have good basics. If they don't, if they, if they have the good knowledge of marches, top uh, and and touches. Okay, if they. If they know what, when are you going to change the mythology, or, or what I, when are you going to adapt to them, these things are really important. Okay, you're doing, we are really doing with the clients, so you need to adapt constantly with your clients. Okay, so I hope you like this video. I hope you really do. Don't forget to subscribe to my um, YouTube channel. My I, I hope to have 1000 subscribers uh, until October, so be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, you can contact me on my Facebook or via my Snapchat or via my Instagram. You will have this here in the links, okay? And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, if you, you think that there are more set skills than you need to uh, master, don't hesitate and comment below. So thank you very much and I hope I'll see you soon. Bye bye!